Well, I am trying to help them interpret and deconstruct what they read and see and understand that it's not just what the candidates are saying, it's how the news media is covering, it's how they're distributing the content that they gather. And so I, I like to think that people who finish reading the book will go on a journey with me from the mid-80s to the present, but also be able, by the time they get to the end of the book, even understanding the last eight years of Barack Obama, how, uh, how what they're being spoon-fed or what, the, what they're seeing in front of their eyes is part of a manufacturing process that begins perhaps in a candidate's campaign manager office about what someone should do that day to how forces are deployed to make that happen. And they are met by other forces called the news media with different agendas and priorities whose mission is to cover and how the content that gets locked into video cameras and, and cameras and on reporters' notepads then gets churned into stories and what the business imperatives are behind those stories and how that content is put up. So hopefully by the end of peop by the end page 360 or so people will be much more educated about how to evaluate what people see in our political landscape.